It's so good to know you are there tuned in to your favorite fake show on television with Don Pedro Agambi. And of course, you know what we do here. Every week, we look at issues, trends, developments in the global ICT industry. We also play host to tech CEOs, innovators, and big thinkers. Today promises to be very informative and educative as always. Stay with us. From Nigeria receives the first prize in the AISI TT Fair to TV category for his program, ICT Africa. The technician, Don Pedro. The ICT reporter of the year, electronic. Don Pedro Agamu. In case you've just joined us, you're watching Africa's Numero Uno Tech Show on television. When we come back from this quick break, you'll meet our tech personality of the week. Personality of the week is Chief Dr. Leo Stan, A.K. Chairman of Zynox Technologies. I'm sure you will like this. Leo Stan, A.K. For pioneering role in desktop publishing, computer graphics in Nigeria, and the launch of the first local and international certified computer brand in Sub-Saharan Africa, Zynox Technologies Group, manufacturer of the Zynox brand of computers, the first computer brand in the world to incorporate the Naira sign on the keyboard. Welcome to the program. Thank you. It is on record that you set the tune for the digitization of Nigeria through the Computerized Nigeria project. Can you share the vision with us? For every man um, created by God, uh, you have a responsibility and I think mine is uh, to come and build enjoy a little bit of it okay but mine had a call I had a call on the tech sector and I've been consistent and if you remember my first step was to deal with the doubting stomachs the media people and it was like an evangelism um, if you prove your worth to press people, to media people, because these are the critics of our time. Then they follow you. You get to your destination faster. So when I did the whole media houses, transitioning them to digital economy through 
digital processing through uh, from typesetting to desktop publishing, computer graphics, okay, and um, multimedia. Then they started spreading the news. But again, we had to enhance that profile to the corporate world so that things, people can run offices with data analytics to guide them on advice, projections, okay, and where they're headed to. And then even our election. Okay, so today there would have been crisis in the economy uh, if elections don't have facts and figures. And uh, we did that with the DDC and then did authentication with the card reader. So that first of all, before you vote, you, they confirm it's you. Okay, so it's an ID structure. And um, having done that, uh, we looked at the educational sector. Okay, where we're providing tools, sponsored by federal government, we donated first, okay, to show as case studies. And then the federal government started supporting us. Now we're deploying infrastructure, bandwidth, internet infrastructure, um, setting up digital centers, and training the teachers. It's not enough, it's like um, a drop in an ocean, but at least some people grabbed it. And then um, through our training evangelism across the nation to empower the poor, okay? So some of this we've done until we climb down to the commercial, I've seen commercial sense of it, which is e-commerce, okay? And that's where we are today, okay? So that's the climax of uh, the economy and everything we've done added value, great value to this economy during the crisis okay, of corona, uh, COVID-19, which was still going through so people could get goods at home. And um, Conga worked throughout the COVID um, um, restrictions, okay, um, supplying homes, supplying few offices that are open, okay, and they're meeting people's needs in terms of drugs, vitamin C, vitamin D, at critical times and the uh, casual. So this is, um, a lot of people thought it was, um, I was a soothsayer, but that's not it. It's um, life transition. You must continue to upgrade. And what we've done is leading that um, lifestyle and praying that the country will accept it. There's nothing unusual about it, but it's just that the country w is wasting resources, not just the country, the individuals also, okay? Not having the right tools at the right time in the knowledge century. What is the strategic roadmap of the Zionist group? The dynamism you know, of the IC sector, to a reasonable extent, is pre predictable, okay? Now, when we launch Zionist, you are just given an IT identity to Nigeria as a nation. And I said that no, no nation can claim to be independent until you have an IT independent. And then we passed through it right now, through COVID. So is Nigeria really truly independent? Okay. So everything we bought, including uh, face mask, was imported. Okay, now I talk about digital too. Inverters, power generators. Okay, including tires. So what makes you an independent nation? When you say you are independent, it's like a child who's grown up, you left your parents. It means you can feed yourself without the penny from your parents. You pay your house rent, or you marry, you have kids, you can train them without the assistance of your parents. So when you call independent, you are an independent nation. What do you have? Okay, now that is one. Um, we are moving, uh, Zynox strategy roadmap was to build a 360 degree um, ICT. Um, we have the bigger distribution, TD, TD Africa, in the whole of Sub-Saharan Africa, ICT distribution. We acquired a software company, okay, Esputer. Okay, we designed critical software to drive our system. So we've been on enterprise applications for over 20 years in the group, okay? Then we have a solution company, which was the first company in the country, uh, sorry, first company in the group, Task Systems, which is uh, 
supporting the oil companies and the banking sector and the industries, okay, critically. We have a support company, TD, TD Plus, and then uh, we have a lifestyle company called TDI Life, which is into FMCG. Okay, so we recreated FMCG by giving it digital content to it, you know, adding call centers, okay, um, digital payment for moms and pops, okay, so rating uh, the agencies on behalf of the manufacturers. Okay, food is key. And during the crisis, that company was the biggest uh, distributor, moving goods around and extending credit to mom and pop shops and then uh, uh, departmental stores, okay? And then the mega e-commerce, which is Conga, which is online, offline, okay, with physical stores. And then we have the central bank licensed bank, digital bank, Conga Pay. Okay, so we create a seamless infrastructure and then we have a digitally driven logistic company. And then in the group, Everything is wired with wireless uh, um, cloud CCTV. So wherever you are, you are seeing operations nationwide. So what we launched today is a Conga Bulk. Okay, so a platform bringing mega manufacturers and big distributors, okay, to meet resellers. So resellers don't need to jump from Abad to Lagos. It's delivered to their doorstep and they pay. And then we build the um, tech-driven, secure warehouses across the nation, um, making it easier. So today, if you are SMB, okay, uh, you don't need to open a warehouse in Port Harcourt. You don't need to have an office because it costs money for you to scale. So we are undertakers. So we provide you an office. Your staff can have an office in a place where there is fiber internet, okay, there is light. There is security. So you pay for a portion of warehouse instead of paying for eight security men, gardeners, sweepers, and the full bunch of staff. And what are you selling? How can you be profitable? So Conga is delivering that. Conga Head is taking genuine drugs to the last mile. Okay, so if you are in America and your father is sick or on daily drug like uh, blood pressure, sugar level cholesterol. So you don't need to worry, okay? You open a wallet with Conga Pay. And then every quarter you pay, we deliver the drug to your dad. And then we help your dad if he had the memory challenge. Okay, it doesn't matter his language, okay? If he has to take his drug at nine o'clock, we call him up at nine o'clock, he takes his drug, you get an alert that your dad has taken his drug. I will make sure we replace his drugs two weeks before expiration. So you will never be out of it, but genuine drug and cost efficiently, cost, effect, cost efficiently too. So we are right at 360 degrees, but the biggest project we have now is creating the first artificial intelligence driven um, robotics warehouse in Africa. So that's the project we are now. We are receiving the containers, we are floating them. Okay, and it's going to sit on 22,000 square meter warehouse in Lagos. That's the biggest warehouse in Lagos. Okay, by Lakey here. Okay, so that will make things easier, seamless. Okay, I'm sure you know robotics don't go to church. Okay, they don't call phones. Are you with me? They don't go to village meeting. So they'll be working 24 hours. So basically, uh, this is the project I have right now. And I think that's my will. Technically, there's nothing else remaining to do in technology, okay? Um, so that's why I call it like my will, okay, my final will. You have called for a national digital day for Nigeria, and uh, it's generated some interest. What is the reason behind this call? Well, uh, if your father did not go to school, but is able to train and feed you, he has done something. But he hasn't achieved what he expected. Okay. So um, we are not on ground zero when you look at the power of um, fiber in the country at the moment. Okay, we have 
excess capacity on bandwidth, but the problem is distribution, C cables, okay, broadband. Um, today, the president now is doing virtual executive council. He never existed. He never, no person ever thought of it. Are you with me? State governments are doing virtual meetings instead of rushing to Abuja. Whether you like it or not, about 25% of Nigerians have become digitally sensitive. So, forced by the virus. Okay, so I think by declaring this independence, a digital independence, first is assisted independence. So, assisted, you are matured over matured. Okay. Um, it's a way of appreciating the little we have done while also sensitizing people on the need for digitalization. Okay, so sometimes, remember when you name your child, you don't know who, what it will be in future, but you give him a good name that anticipates the future. Okay, so that's basically what I expected the nation to celebrate, that the banks today are tech-driven, okay, the industries are tech-driven, that people are working from home virtually, the companies have not collapsed, are you with me? So there are a lot of content and um, news sharing across board that our grandmothers now can what process by sending you tests, even if they are requesting for money. You find that the media industry has grown, that today people can sit at home and produce films without having expensive cameras. Are you with me? And share files for edit editing. Now, so this is, and all these things happen within six months. Okay, so you can imagine if you if you take the gross of what has happened in the last six months. Okay, if it happened that way in the last two years, Nigeria would have been too much. There would have been very few few poor people in the country because our people are smart. Okay, so this is why I thought if the president declared October first as digital independence, it will sensitize Nigerians more, okay? And that day, Nigerians should be able, few people, students, workers, should be able to talk to him virtually. Are you with me? So you can imagine today the president being on Zoom or Microsoft Teams, okay, um, with Nigerians. That would be the greatest independence. So people who never had opportunity in life to hear from him could now hear asking questions and he answers on the spot. Not pre-recorded. That would make a difference. That would create a great, great excitement. Okay, I was born before independence and I remember that day completely because we were giving flags, Nigerian flags. Okay, small Nigerian flags. I was like a souvenir, okay? So, so what is the president going to give? Give us flag now, that's not the answer. Give us rights now, that's not the answer, okay? But if he could broadcast live, and many people would go, it could be two million or 1,000, 2,000, okay? This time block the ministers, but talk to citizens interact with them, they're asking questions. Some nasty, some exciting, some congratulatory. That would be a record breaker. So that's why I thought we have reached that stage. And that would create a whole lot of sensitization. What keeps Dr. Liu Stan A.K. going in the tech ecosystem? You know, <laughs> entrepreneurship is like food. <laughs> some people could be very slim, but they eat more than the fat ones. Okay, so if you're in the tech world, if you're a tech entrepreneur, you're abnormal. So it depends who you want to be. Now, also, again, God has a lot to do with it. Okay, you know, some people are pastors, they claim they are called by God, but they're not successful pastors. And some people don't claim they are called by God, but they're successful pastors. Okay, I'm not talking in terms of money. I'm talking in terms of rich success in where you belong. 
So mine is natural. It has nothing to do with a lot of education. I remember I didn't finish my, my postgraduate in computer science. Okay. Um, two, also I try not to tell myself lies. Okay, because you find the IT sector in the third world, um, you have to build with integrity. I regard myself as a child of trust economy. Trust economy is that I'm like an only child, even though I have brothers and sisters. Okay, and to continue to upgrade, why a lot of our parents fail is that they get to a point they think the world is finished. But the biggest trend is ability to scale where you are right now. Okay, so this is why it's like we wrote the script for the Nigerian IT industry. And um, what also you believe in, you need to live it. So I have a lifestyle of uh, tech and quality food and try to live what I, I, I preach. Okay, you know, you could be a pastor, you preach one thing and do a different thing. Okay, so um, I believe in IT, not for money. I believe in IT that it makes life cheaper for me. Okay. It reassures me, um, I don't see why I should die today, even though I work 20 hours. Okay, fine, because I've not been sick. And those who don't work five hours are always in the hospital. So why should I stop working? Okay, and it helps me to engage with the youths. So my mind, even though I'm over 60, I don't remember that because the guys I'm chatting with are people who are 24, 30. So technically, I feel like them. So it reduces that burden I me. So um, it's a tough one. It could be very discouraging um, in the country, but you know it all depends on the individual. So some people will chase this and chase that, but what I'm chasing is 360 degrees IT. Nothing more, I don't have anything to do with the oil industry. I was the chairman of a bank, kind of first chairman of a bank at a young age, but I relinquished it. I moved on onto technology, and I'm very happy with it. And I die as a tech guy. The Zionist group is reputed to always innovate and always evolving and coming up with solutions that has helped to leapfrog the Nigeria tech industry. Is this intentional? Now, you know, the day you stop thinking, like my friends will say, Stan, you haven't changed. Okay, so if I change, I'm in the mortuary. That's what it means. So as far as you live, you eat. I mean, you eat breakfast, you eat lunch, you eat dinner. The day you stop thinking, the day you start anticipating, you stop anticipating the future, you are dead. It means you don't have hope. A lot of people, Nigerians, are dying of depression right now because they think the world has ended. Instead of looking for escape route to survive today, because the world will never end. Okay, they say Amagada, Amagada. It will never end. Okay, the day you die, the answer has ended. So if you watch Xinox anticipate the future, you can see I was like this thinking. Okay, with my brother. Eh? Now, I was thinking what to come. And it was after that we bought Conga. We acquired Conga. It was after that we are rolling other things. I just told you we want to roll out the biggest artificial intelligence robotics driven warehouse in Africa. We are already there. We are, we are, we are close there. We are, we are bringing all the racks and all the rest of it. Okay, just here down the road in Lekki here. What the Experience Center does today is saves Nigerians millions of dollars. So instead of going to America, going to Britain, going to uh, Dubai, you can sit in there and they connect you to the best experts at the headquarters. You engage with them live. We build that house to anticipate the future. The warehouse we are, we are, we are refurbishing to do this right now was bought two years ago. No person knew. It was a lot of megaphone. Okay, so if you don't anticipate the future, why do you have to invest it? The day the adrenaline stop pumping, it means you are gone. So this is, uh, this is what it is. But as I get older, I now apply a little bit of caution. But you know, tech makes you happy. It's like talking to Chris Owaji. Are you with me? If you wake him up midnight, okay, um, it's a domain of ICT knowledge. 
Okay, that excites me. It's not the money that comes with it. Okay, so this is um, why we move. Because when you talk change, okay, every business you do in life is dynamic. So I'm happy you were able to remember when we say Nigeria IT identity. And we moved from that place to digitally, digitally ahead. Now we move from digitally ahead, okay, and to spare the future. Because as you move, people are chasing you, okay? But you know there's somebody you'll be chasing. You At the point, you just stop. There's no need because it's further out. And that's giving us capacity in West Africa and built with integrity. Okay, that all the foreign competitors could trust us and they will partner. Uh, this is what we've done. All right. Thank you so much, Chief Dr. Leo Stan, aka Chairman Zynos Technologies, for finding time to talk to us and also wishing you a most wonderful birthday. Thank you. Chief Dr. Leo Stan, a.k.a. Chairman Zynos Technologies, our tech personality of the week. All right, for comments and observations, please reach us on the numbers and emails now showing on your screen. You can also watch this on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the production crew, thanks for watching. Same time, same station. I'll be back next time. I'll see you.